The president today promising gun control. The problem is, it is a promise he has made before and broken. We have to have meaningful background checks. We need meaningful background checks so that sick people don't get guns. Okay, so today, uh, you heard him, President Trump used the word meaningful 17 times. 17 times he used the word meaningful when talking about background checks. But if he means what he says, then he can take a stand, right? He could write an executive order now. He could let the NRA and some in the GOP fight him. He could take it to court. He could lose, but he could stand. So tonight, Trump has a big choice to make, whether or not to be a president of his word, because here are his words 18 months ago after the Parkland mass shooting. We're going to do very strong background checks. Very strong. We're going to do background checks. Again, that was nearly 18 months ago, and he has done nothing since then on background checks. So his lack of action, his broken promise, is actually odd for at least one really important reason, and that is a reason the president knows. Here he is again today. On background checks, uh, we have tremendous support for really common sense, sensible, important background checks. He is right. The American people, a majority of Democrats and Republicans, support background checks, meaningful ones. Quinnipiac poll from March found 86% of voters support the background check bill that already passed the House. That is a tremendous number. So you would think that Trump would, knowing that, even have more reason to step up and take action. But instead, today he punted. He said, I called Mitch McConnell. I spoke to Mitch McConnell yesterday. He's totally on board. He said, I've been waiting for your call. He is totally on board. Okay, Mitch McConnell is not totally on board, and Donald Trump knows it. He, he didn't call the Senate back in session. He definitely has not said he is for background checks. In fact, if he were for background checks, he could have voted on that bill that 86% of Americans support, but he didn't. He has refused to bring it to the Senate floor for months. In fact, all he has said since these latest terrific shootings was this yesterday. There has to be a, a bipartisan discussion here of what we can agree on. If that's taking a meaningful stand. So again, the buck stops with President Trump. He can take McConnell on. I can tell you there's tremendous goodwill for meaningful, I talk it about meaningful, add that word, meaningful background check so that sick and demented people don't carry around guns. Okay. So, President Trump, is he going to keep his word or will he make meaningful become a meaningless word. Pamela Brown is out front at the White House at this hour. So, Pamela, why doesn't the president just do something if he says he believes in it? Well, Aaron, I mean, he could call Congress back from recess uh, and take a leadership role in this, but he's choosing not to do that. This, as he's once again calling for what he says are these intelligent background checks to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people. But we know NRA's Wayne LaPierre is already in the pre president's ear, Aaron, telling him that it wouldn't have prevented the recent mass shootings and that it'll turn off his supporters in deep red <clears throat> states. Now, after Parkland, the president, as you pointed out, caved under pressure from the NRA on background checks. And while some analysts believe a bruising leadership battle inside the NRA weakened its influence in Washington, Trump says he'll take their calls. He wants their support in 2020. After speaking with the NRA today, the president struck Aaron a hopeful and optimistic tone that really didn't line up with reality. He said he believes the NRA will get there in supporting it. Background checks. He says there's tremendous support on both sides of the aisle for background checks, including with Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. But as you point out, shortly after, McConnell's spokesman said the Senate leader hasn't endorsed anything and that McConnell has only promised to discuss background checks, and red flag warning legislation. We're also told he won't call Senate back early from recess. So the question tonight, Aaron, is <clears throat> will there still be the same appetite after the five weeks recess has passed?